<laughs> hey everybody, thank you all for coming um, or for you know sitting on your couch with me <laughs> um, as we just talk about some non-toxic cleaning methods and solutions and basically my story of um, the evolution of cleaning in my house over the last eight years. So um, we're going to get straight to it. Um, for those of you that are seeing this for the first time and don't know who I am, I'm Courtney. Um, in 2008, I was diagnosed with stage 2 Hodgkin's lymphoma, and I was 26, and uh, my husband and I both had a deep unrest about pursuing uh, chemotherapy as our treatment plan, and um, that's a really long story you can actually read about on my blog, anticancermom.com, um, but we ended up pursuing natural, non-toxic therapies, which led to a complete life change. <laughs> Um, and that has been my journey for the last eight years now. Um, so with that comes non-toxic everything, including your cleaning products. So I'm going to just give you a little tour around what products I love and use and sort of what's changed over the last eight years. Um, starting with, um, this is my, my cleaning kit I brought up from downstairs. Um, this is what I would have used pre-cancer. Tylex, Fantastic, Comet, Soft Scrub. Um, pledge to dust. I mean, things that are just totally off my radar now. Um, we actually keep Tylex, or used to keep Tylex, and use it quite a bit because we had a really bad mold problem in our shower upstairs, which is why I still have it. Um, but of course, with that came masks and gloves, <laughs> and I'd make my husband do it. So um, that's kind of in the distant past that we still are holding on to it. Um, after cancer, I started looking into different methods, bought some different products that were considered organic or just non-toxic, and I found something um, a little bit annoying about most of them and that they didn't work very well. Um, so I didn't really have any other options, so I kept with those products um, and eventually started learning how to make my own. Um, for instance, um, a great option. Um, it worked great for seven years now um, until I've made a recent change, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, was just one third vinegar and the rest water in whatever container you're using. And this is actually an old cleaner that we used that we really ended up, sorry, didn't really like it very much, didn't work very well. Um, so I just used the bottle to put some vinegar and water in it. Um, used that for a really long time. And I honestly sometimes will still take it out for, I don't know, certain cleaning that you know, I don't know, for whatever, if I really want something, maybe disinfected or something, but, um, and then Dr. Bronner's soap, which you can use for your body, you can use it, um, I use it to make homemade hand, uh, hand soap, and I just put about like a, quart, a quarter of the container of soap and then the rest water, and it makes a really great foaming hand soap, especially with some essential oils, but I don't use this, um, really clean my house anymore, um, but it is an option if you want like more of a soapy consistency for your cleaning. And then of course I use lots of baking soda um, to basically, if you need an abrasive for your tub um, with a sponge, and I'm going to tell you what I, I still use baking soda a little bit, but I'm going to show you what I use it with um, now because I don't use just a cloth or a scrub brush anymore because I found some much more effective stuff, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then finally I used glass cleaner, which is also in an old bottle. <laughs> um, but this I homemade using cornstarch and alcohol and um, some other various uh, water and um, I can't remember what the other substances were. But anyway, you can look up glass cleaner, homemade glass cleaner. Wellness Mama has a really good recipe. I think that's where this was from. But um, I found that what would happen after a while was the cornstarch would start clogging up the pump and it was such a pain and I'd have to shake it and then I would use it and it worked okay. Um, but I have to use paper towels, and for all of us, a lot of it I had to use paper towels or like a scrubby sponge that would go bad. And so, I'm um, so grateful. I finally found a solution to all of this stuff that I love so much. So much that I actually bought my dad these, a cleaning cloth and a window cloth, a polishing cloth for Christmas. Um, or the, actually just the polishing cloth, but I guess next Christmas we'll get this. Um, and I hope he's watching because he said he was going to, so... Anyway, what I'm going to tell you about now is something I've been pretty obsessed with for a while, and um, it's called Norwex EnviroCloth Microfiber, and that's what this is. Um, and you basically clean with just water, 
And when I heard this, I was, um, I kind of was, I guess I wasn't skeptical. I was just like, okay, it didn't really register, like how you really could just clean with water. Um, but I'm gonna demo this on my house and I've left a few things really gross just for you. I, I promise I don't keep my house this gross all the time, but the last few days I've been saying, no, don't clean that, I need it gross for, <laughs> so I can show people how great this is. Um, so the EnviroCloth is made up of this really, really finely woven microfiber and it's the density of the cloth that is actually what cleans. <laughs> um, it's the, to be classified as a microfiber by, I don't know, the microfiber people who classify microfiber, it has to be one sixth the width of a human hair to be considered microfiber. And um, Norwex microfiber is the best because it's one two hundredth of a human hair. It's so tiny that it picks up every little molecule off of your surfaces. And uh, for that reason, that's why it's, you, it actually picks up about 99% of bacteria and contaminants off your counters, off your toilet, off of everything. Um, and you can literally use this one cloth of water to clean your entire house. If you don't believe me, I've put some links below this video uh, with some demos, uh, raw chicken, where they actually removed all of the juice compared to like Clorox wipes, which just smeared it around. And it takes like, you know, 20 minutes to kill, I don't know, 20% of the bacteria with a Clorox wipe. It's pretty deceiving. Whereas this actually removes 99%, um, up to 99%, but more so 99% um, of the bacteria and contaminants off your counters. And like I said, I've been using it for about a year and I'm amazed. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna demo this for you. That's just the details. Um, and so let's go. And a little bit of information. Hi. We're actually running a little late today because I forgot to charge my cell phone, which beeped at me just as I was getting ready to start the Facebook Live. So my amazing husband, Kevin, is behind the camera with my cell phone attached to an extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Preparation. <laughs> Fail. Um, so what I did here is I just smear. I wanted to show you guys how easily this picks up oil because we're on a Facebook video, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, but this is just coconut oil I um, use to smear on the table because this is kind of what my table looks like after dinner usually anyway with my three kids. Um, and you can see it's just oily and gross and there's actually some caked on broccoli from tonight's dinner here too. And I'll just show you how easily. Uh, each Norwex, you can fold it eight into fours, which makes eight sides of cleaning surface. So you can see, I'm just gonna go over it once, and I'm gonna do it again with the same side. And I'm gonna flip sides, and again, really get it super, super clean with the other side, and it just picks it right up. It's just awesome how absorbent it is, including with oils. Like, you know, this is not even very realistic. You're not gonna have this much. And then you take your polishing cloth, since this is a glass tabletop, you're gonna need that with maybe a wood countertop or a wood table, you wouldn't even need the polishing cloth. But since it's gonna leave some watermarks, I'm just gonna go over it with the polishing cloth. And it's awesome. So that's it. So that's just one example. This is literally what I clean my whole house with. The reason, my dad retired recently and I said, well, let's get him something practical for Christmas. And so I got him the polishing cloth because it replaces Windex. You don't even need the EnviroCloth if you just have the polishing cloth. And you can, you know, what I would do for the windows is just go over with my EnviroCloth and get all the crusty fingerprints and, you know, various stuff that gets on here. And then just go with my polishing cloth and then just wipe it. And it gets completely... Eventually, if there's any residual water, it just evaporates, but it's pretty amazing. Um, if you have kids, like, I don't even know, you can't even live, like, you need this, uh, the, especially the EnviroCloth. I feel like I'm on a QVC, um, uh, what do they call that? <laughs> Commercial, you know what I mean. It's kind of weird. But um, anyway, with the, especially the high chair, I just clean it off with the EnviroCloth every day. And honestly, if, if I haven't done too much gross stuff with it, I just wipe my kids off with it too. Uh, they actually do have a special cloth for that. Um, Norwex does, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I do, I mean, it takes stuff right off your kids. I used to actually put paper towels, warm, pa or wet paper towels in the microwave. It's the only thing I would use my microwave for, really. 
and I would warm up the paper towel so that it would get the stuff off my kids, and now I just use this. Um, yeah, you can actually do that. Um, okay, you, can you come around? I just wanna show you the, the sink scuzz because I don't know about you guys, but I get like build up around my sink from the water. Um, and it just, this just, it really just takes it right off. And so you can see all that gunk around your sink. It just takes it right off. Okay. And then, if you, especially if you have stainless steel like me, you would just take your polishing cloth, which I actually left over there. <laughs> I'll run and grab it real quick. And then you just polish it up, and it polishes up the silver. Any stainless steel or like, you know, silver metallic stuff, it just polishes it right up. Let me go grab it. And there you go. And it's perfect. It's perfectly polished and beautiful and ready for guests. <laughs> um, and then of course your sink, it gets everything, some of the, like the stains in your sink, it just takes it all right off. I clean my Berkey with it and when it gets all the water spots on it. I was cleaning it the other day and Kevin was running the sink. I was like, you're Ruining my uh, my polishing job here, because um, he gets lots of splatters. You can see it just perfect. So anyway, you're probably wondering like, okay, that's great, but that's kind of gross. All that stuff gets stuck in there. Well, micro the the Norwex microfiber. All you do is rinse it with hot water, and it everything will re releases from the microfiber down the drain. Um, and so that's what I do every night. Like this kind of. Wash it up with a shelf. Just, it has to be pretty hot water because it will. That's that's what causes it to release. Yeah, I could show you. Um, and then yeah, and then I hang it up to dry. And the reason that it doesn't get stinky and gross with all the stuff that I got that was in it is because the hot water releases it. And the most phenomenal thing I think about this is what is called backlock. And that is the, there is actually silver woven in through this microfiber, really tiny micro silver, not nano silver, but micro silver that actually self purifies the cloth. So when you leave it hanging up at night, my cloth doesn't get stinky really until about maybe a week, maybe five to seven days I'll start going, oh, it's time to wash it. So that's it. Can I that's speak it. into this? Sure, can, go ahead. Can I just come off, like break the fourth wall or whatever? Sure, go ahead. Okay, guys, uh, I'm just gonna speak from behind the camera for now. So obviously Here, this I'll is Kevin. My, I'll do the oven while you're doing that. So I look at all this and I'm like the voice of reason. I'm looking at this going, babe, it's just a rag. It's just a rag. This is a rip. There's no way this works the way it works. There's no way. I'm a paper towel guy. We got a ton of paper towels. I'll just go through those and just wipe everything up. And sure enough, over the course of several, um, days, weeks, I became more and more of a believer in, in this because it really does grab everything and get surfaces clean to a level that you could just physically not get them clean before, especially not just using water. And paper towels just don't absorb and don't cling to, to But I literally water. thought, this is nothing but a rag from, you know, a microfiber rag. From, you can get it like CompuServe or, uh, not CompuServe, um, like Micro Center or something clean your computer screens with and it's totally been so much more than that and it sounds insane and you can't really appreciate it even on Facebook live but it really does work <laughs> we had a white bowl the other night in here I don't know if it's in here still well one of those back there and Courtney would clean the counters and then squeeze out with the hot water squeeze out the water and it would just be dirt just dropping into dropping into the um, into the bowl yeah, and then and then after you did it a couple times it was clean the water was no longer dirty and it just would not how long is how long is this Facebook live uh, we've been going about 15 minutes 15 minutes okay I don't want to go longer than 20 because I know everyone's busy um, well you've got a lot to demo then yeah I do a lot to demo <laughs> I'll go quickly but this is really the basis of all the Norwich products that you can clean everything with water let me see ah yeah it'll be off white or, or brown and then it will just be totally clean. All the other things, you're gonna, you're gonna talk about the Yeah, I haven't even gotten my favorite stuff yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry through this. It's not, it's a pretty clean rag right now anyway. And the water, 
will have to run for a while to get. So when I hang this up, I just hang it on my, right here, and it dries overnight, and it's perfectly great for the next day. So, uh, and I'm just hanging my polishing cloth next to it <clears throat> if I need it. You guys don't have to do that, but um, anyway, I'm gonna just demo my, a couple of the stuff that they have. They have the body cloth, which is amazing. I've never had this before until the last couple of weeks. It takes your makeup off for you. So I don't know, you guys probably read on my blog, I've been using the oil cleansing method for years and years and years, which I still love and I still do that. Um, but if I'm in a rush or if I'm just cleaning off my girl, my daughters, um, this is amazing and it's so soft. It like kind of exfoliates your skin and it takes your makeup off with just water. So this is really great. I even, um, if you guys are familiar with Beauty Counter, their uh, mascara is really difficult to get off. It's almost like waterproof mascara, and it takes it right off. I, could, I couldn't even believe that because it was almost hard to get off with oil. So, um, is there a reason you're keeping this to 20 minutes? Uh, no, I mean it'll okay. be 20 minutes. It's or not a hard stop. I wanted to do a Q&A, so if anyone wants to, we'll do a qu we'll do okay. questions at the end. Um, so here's the Envirocloth. It comes in a couple colors. I think it's $16.99. But like I said, it cleans everything. I wanted to show you our playroom in a minute if we have time because I actually left some crayon marks and some, I can show you how permanent marker comes right off with the EnviroCloth. Um, it just, it's, it's something about the density of the weave of the microfiber that just works these miracles. Um, the other things I want to talk about really are um, two products that are in addition to that. You can really dust with the EnviroCloth with just getting it wet and you can dust your whole house but um, you can do it dry as well. And it works almost like a static cling when you use it dry where this, it just attracts dust. But this is the dusting mitt and I've just gotten this recently. I've kind of been adding to my collection as I can, as I, you know, just gradually. Um, but you, this is, this is so great. You just go around your house with your mitt and, and dust just like clings to the mitt. Yeah, I, wish, awesome. I wish I would have just, you go on top of your fan blades or go on top of that shelf that has the delicate family photos on it. You don't want to knock off with the Swiffer. And it doesn't come off. Now the Swiffer is what we used before this. You might have seen it in my cleaning kit. And um, it just would kind of blow the dust around. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures. And just go through. You can get in all the little crevices of things. Um, P-Rack. I actually left one... Um, one uh, part of our shelf here, dusty, so that you could see. There it is. If you can see this. Oh yeah, I can see it. And it literally just cleans it right up. It's not blowing around. It's not pushing it around. I see your hand. And it just sticks right to it. And all you have to do is you can, you know, go outside and you can dust it off, or you can just wash it, and it comes right off. So, anyway. I love this too. This is a newer thing I've been using. You can get in all the little crevices of your baseboards. And um, I like it a lot. Um, one thing I wanted to say. <laughs> Cynthia says, just give me one of everything. <laughs> I know, Sin. It's the best. And so um, Lindsay so, says, I'm with you, Cynthia. I know. I love <clears throat> my family. Thank you, guys. Um, so, the one thing, the way, what. What really sold me on these products, and I've never, you guys probably know this, I've never represented a company on Anti-Cancer Mom at all, um, but I love these products because number one, they only use water. You don't use any toxic junk. Number two, you buy it once and you're done. You don't have to keep buying have, stuff. We were talking about this earlier, this idea that, oh, you have to keep buying things. Well, when you go all natural and you get vinegar and all these things you have to go buy, that's not that expensive. It's certainly not a big deal, but it's more so the trip that you have to make to the store. It's always on your mind. Oh, I always ran like, out oh, I just this. ran out. We need to get more of this, no. or I need to place an order on Amazon to get more of this. And yeah. with these things, you literally just use them over and over and over again. And that's cool. So yeah. Um, before I get to the mop, which is my absolutely most favorite part of all this, um, I want to tell you a few other things that I really find interesting, especially for people kind of in our natural health world. Um, the first thing is this is the fruit and veggie cloth, and you don't need your fruit and veggie <coughs> soak anymore because this actually will remove pesticides and um, any dirt, especially if you like look at a carrot or a potato. It's got a scrubby side. And it's got a non-scrubby scrubby scrubby side. side. Yeah, the scrubby side, you can see it's kind of woven. Shiny. I know, it's a little shiny. <laughs> um, so this is great for you guys that are maybe on Gerson therapy and you're scrubbing all your carrots and you, you know, even if they are organic, they're still dirty. 
Um, so I'm loving this. Um, and then um, this is the cleaning paste. Debbie has a funny question we'll come What's, back to. Okay. How do you clean hey, the toilet bowl? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, so the cleaning paste is great. It's kind of like el elbow grease for things that are a little more difficult. I'm not gonna take you guys into the playroom unless you guys really wanna go there. <laughs> <laughs> into the school room because that's where all the mess is on the table. Did anybody say they want to go there? No, I think everybody's just chilling. Okay. <laughs> um, but the cleaning paste is just a little bit more. It's actually made from marble flour and natural soap and coconut oil. And it just adds a little bit more oomph to your Enviro cloth. There you go, you can see it. And what you do is you just take your wet Enviro cloth. This stuff is really crazy. We just recently discovered it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is extra. You guys wouldn't need it, but it's just kind of one of those things that will take your oh, you'll take, need it. Take your cleaning to the next level. You didn't need an iPhone, <laughs> but then you found out about them, and then you needed it, and that's what this is going to do to your life. All right, so you just use your cloth. You get a little paste. It, this thing will last forever. It's like a big chunk of paste, and it barely comes off when you use it. You barely need any. Yeah, it feels I feel like, like it would um, last you a couple like years. chalk. Like it's just like like a hard brick of talcum powder or something. Yeah, but it's, and it works not... really well with the Enviro cloth. So yeah. Anyway, um, did you talk about what that actually does? What this? It's a. Yeah. It's just a exfoliator. How freakishly amazing it works. Yeah, Kevin's hands. really impressed with this. It's, it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you use this with the Enviro cloth, which is the microfiber cloth, wet, and it will scrub all kinds Here's of stuff. Here's the thing: off we had a pan the other and night, and we were just done with dinner, and you know you how it is when you have so to. They can no, see I'm it. not worth looking at right now. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you're much prettier, babe. Thank you. So. Uh, Kelsey wants to know what that is again. Oh, it's so, just the cleaning paste. And so. Jen said she's had hers for like three years. Is that Jen Grevin? Yes. Oh, I love her. Thanks, Jen. So, she's actually bought me my first Norwex cloth. She was the one <laughs> for as a gift from for tutoring her daughter. So, but this um, stuff here, we were cleaning a, a pot and pan, you know, hand scrubbing the I don't know if it was eggs or beef or something. The stuff that gets hardened and fast hardens hardens faster the pan, yep. you know, stainless steel pan, and we put a little bit like. I don't know, a nickel size or less of that stuff on the, what'd you call the first rag, the rag it goes on? Oh, the EnviroCloth. The, the EnviroCloth. Cloth, yeah. All these have branded names. But the EnviroCloth <laughs> combines with the Natoya Tante paste or whatever that's called. But Cleaning paste. Just the magic paste. Yeah. And there you go. It gets scrubbed. You scrubbed the pan and cleaned guy. it right away. <laughs> It was freakish. It was um, like a magic trick. It was so freaky. But so anyway, like I was saying, you guys, my favorite things are definitely the Enviro cloth that comes in a couple colors. You need this, um, Debbie. To go back to your question, so my system in my house, I have two Enviro cloths that are both the gray color that you guys saw before. I know, Kels. What? What's she saying? Do I have basil in I my teeth? I can see me in the Berkey. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm a, I, I am very aware of that. <laughs> so, um, so the. Tweak. The camera angle. Sorry. The Enviro cloth. The Enviro cloth. I have two that are the gray color that you just saw, and those I use for my kitchen and for just downstairs dusting stuff. Um, and then I have a pink one that I've reserved for all of my bathroom cleaning. Um, and it does. I mean, I guess in a way it doesn't matter, but I think for all of us it kind of weirds us out that you're using one cloth for your kitchen and the same cloth for your bathroom stuff. Um, so I just have two for the two for the kitchen and then one for the bathroom and then I just wash them all once a week. Um, so for the, about the toilet, what I do when I clean my bathrooms is I use one Enviro cloth for the counters and you just clean with water. Um, do the shower, you can do polish up all your faucets with the purple cloth, the polished cloth, and then your um, and then I always save the toilet for last. So and I do the toilet with my Enviro cloth. And I've seen many demos. I've read the literature from Norwex. I've read the um, different uh, consultants that have also said, yeah, this is what I do. And um, I feel very comfortable with it. So, yeah, no, not one cloth. One cloth, one cloth for the bathroom. And then you, you do the counters, shower first. I do counters, shower, bathtub, and then toilet. And then I'm gonna get to this. So, you know, you have to wash these things. They're not, you know, everlasting or not never, you know, they have to be washed. So, um, you can wash them in your regular, um, you can wash them in detergent. I don't want to say regular detergent because you, um, don't want fillers, phosphates, sulfates, dyes. Um, it has to be free of all of that. And I thought mine was, and I use seventh generation, um, laundry detergent and I was washing my Enviro cloth in that and they started gradually like 
over months and months started getting kind of stinky and I started so I started reading about it I was even boiling them with baking soda to get it from being unstinky uh-oh the kids are out of the room out of their rooms um, <laughs> um, but I learned that really what's best is the Norwex laundry detergent and I thought oh yeah great it's gonna be it's probably super expensive you know but it's really the only thing you'd have to buy after buying the initial Norwex stuff so um, it's $24.99 for two pounds and you can even get smaller sizes if, if you want to but I only wash my Norwex cloths in it so my laundry detergent should last me over a year for 25 bucks so anyway um, there are collections and packages that you can get the laundry detergent with different various things and I provided links below the video of the different collections that they have um, and you can also just look at the catalog if you want to you know buy one thing or um, whatever you guys want to do so I'm gonna end this with showing you my favorite thing and I kind of watched this for a while and the way I figured out about the mop was because the way I used to clean my floors was like this I wish I had some rags to show you but I would have a rag under put each a paper butt. towel under your foot if you want you okay know. pretend these are rags um, they don't really need a visual for this, yeah no, everybody gets it okay so pretend these are just uh, dish dish um, towels and I used to have them under my feet and I, I used to soak them in vinegar and water and I would go around the house like this and I would say oh I'm getting you know a workout and so it made it worth it well it wasn't very fun and it was a lot of work and it soaked my floor so the kids couldn't be awake um, and I just never mopped and I remember saying to another mom at one of our homeschool co-ops like oh yeah I mop like once every six months and she kind of looked, I thought it was kind of like funny, and she kind of looked at me like, oh, okay, like that's disgusting, and it's so true. And this is, I will, disclaimer, this was about the time when uh, our third daughter was born and I was like getting nothing done. Um, so anyway, back to the Norwex mop. So the way I found out how Norwex is absolutely amazing with floors is I started using the Norwex cloth on my floors just to kind of spot clean. And one day I Norwex a good section in front of my stove here and then I took a paper towel and it was perfectly white after I got it, I picked it up and I looked at it. And when I've used vinegar and water before, I always had kind of this gray tinge on my floor still. Like I'm it was still dirty, even. yeah. And so I was like, I cannot even believe this. So. Um, I told one of my friends, I was like, I've got to have the mop. And so Santa brought me a mop for Christmas this year, which was my Christmas present. He's so awesome. And he Santa. is amazing. So anyway, this is my Santa mop. <laughs> and the Norwex mop is really quite simple. You can see this is the dry attachment. This is made from um, microfiber as well. And it's it's basically very, uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of microfiber. Hey, Casey joined. Uh, hey, Casey. Um, and so this is uh, basically going to create a static uh, pool to it. So when you mop it around your floor, this is the dry, it gets up everything. And I just go like this. I go kind of, they teach you to do it in a figure eight figure, but I like a little more like squiggles, I guess you could say. <laughs> and I go all the way around. I do my house in four minutes, my entire house. And you can take a little, there's quite a bit of wood floor in the house. Um, we timed it one day, and I was going pretty quickly, but on those days that you don't have, you know, a ton of time, it gets around everything. And you go out some chairs, go under the table real quick, pick it up, come back around, come back through here, and I'll show you how I, I do the whole entire house, and I'm not going to do that for you now because that would be probably a little, a little boring. Um, but you can see, get all the way up in there. It's great because you can put the little, you can actually put this, um, this attachment comes right off. Oh, I missed that demo. I oh, was looking at well, the food on the floor. It babe. just comes right off. You can see. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool little feature. Um, and you can leave it a little bit lopsided, which is what I, I found out. I was like, that's so amazing. Cause when you go by your baseboards, you can actually dust your baseboards. Cause Look you can that. see it's so great. I'm not kidding. I wish I could give these all away to you guys because I love it so much. It's made my life so much easier. Um, you can see all this just it's oh, getting yeah. everything and we know it too because Kevin used to say oh my gosh there's so much dirt on the floor and it's so crunchy yeah, and I we can't live by the dust buster. and he would wear his shoes in the house so we didn't have to feel <laughs> constantly raking this. your feet off in the trash because it's yeah. full of this 
And so then what I do after I do this mop like this, I don't know, that's a pretty good amount. Um, I, and there's a special attachment for this. <laughs> this is kind of ghetto. <laughs> but I don't have the special brush yet that goes with this. There's actually a special rubber brush that you brush this off with. So I was raised by, you know, what was apparently, because I just use my hand. Just get it done. And just get it done. Like, come on, go just wash your hands after you're done. It's not a big deal. So I just use my hand. I'm sure, you know, I don't have the special brush, but there is a brush, a rubber brush that goes with this if that kind of weirds you out. And that's what like normal people, I guess, do. But I just use my hand. We like to and rake then, that trash into a nice little line. Yes. <laughs> you gonna use the cloth? So there's two ways that you can do this. Kevin really likes to just take the dust buster and go zoop and yeah, hit it up. Snorts a little and line. And just suck it up right and then throw just it in the trash. I just use my Enviro cloth and I go <laughs> and I take it up like that. Which I think is so much easier, and if you guys don't have a dust buster, you don't need to do anything. So, and it comes up. It's all gone. I like that method because with the <coughs> dust buster, you don't see all the little tiny little pieces. With this, you can get a good area, and um, sorry, <laughs> and get it up like that. Um, and you can see, you, know, you can either just shake it out in your trash. Or wash down the drain, which Kevin was a little weirded out that I did. So, <laughs> so we started shaking it out in the trash. Yeah, I just said as much trash as that stuff gets, thing gets up. I don't know how much trash versus food we're going to get down the drain. But. And so, like I said earlier, it will self-purify of any of the bacteria, and it won't get stinky. Then just hang it back up again. And honestly, I think three days, four days maybe with that. I mean, you probably get a little grossed out using it more than that, especially if you're Cynthia wants to know, where's that wet mop? Okay, so the wet mop. This oh, is my oh. favorite part. This is what changed my life. Drum roll. <laughs> um, so you take the dry mm -hmm. off. And actually, my wet mop's over here in our pantry. So, and so what you do with the wet mop, this is the easiest thing ever, you guys. That's right, not, I'll hold it. That's not okay. um, so I just get, wow, it does not Hold it with your foot. Stay. Put your foot there you go. Yeah. Okay. There's no friction, so it's not. So you just literally wet it with a little water. It doesn't need to be a lot at all because you don't want to soak your floors. Um, yeah, really, that's the part I didn't, because yeah. uh, you know, we all grew up dumping the mop in the bucket, yeah. wringing it out, and then mopping, and then putting it back in the sopping wet bucket. Yeah. Some, so I'm like, you sure you don't need more water than just a little bit? Yeah, some people just, I don't even have like an official Norwex, I just have a... Some people just spray it a little there? bit. What's just, this you got this there? is just water. water. It's not water and vinegar then. Water H2O. It's an old water and vinegar bottle, yeah. Okay. And so I put it it's down just here. Water. Okay. Oops. Here, that's very graceful. Hang on. <laughs> it's very clean. You're gonna put it down here, face down. And you just put your mop on it. Funk. And you go to town with water. That's it. That's crazy. And it's so easy. You go like, just do your floors. If you see something that needs a little bit of extra oomph, you can scrub it a little bit, but it gets almost everything off your floor. And like I said, the way I found out about this was because I used a, a paper towel to test, um, you know, how, or, well, really just to wipe up the water. And you just mop as normal. And I haven't mopped in a while, so we'll see how much comes out. Oh, you gotta bring it out in that white uh, container there, so you can see. Yeah. I'm not mopping backwards, so I'm stepping all over it, but you guys can see. It's yeah. so easy. Yeah, you just did this whole area. <laughs> and it gets everything. This is like a, see. I don't know, six you by seven foot area. You can see it's a little area. grayish, but. Oh, you can see it. It's yeah, dirty. and it picks up all the little extra stuff that maybe the dry mop didn't get off either. Yeah, put it in and the light. So, so you can see it in the light a little bit. Okay. Tilt up. Are we there going on like 40 minutes, <laughs> 45 minutes? I don't know. Yeah, you can see it's got, there we go, you can see it. So anyway, that's my Norwex obsession, everybody. <laughs> and it's why I stopped using vinegar and water. So um, Cindy wants to know, it, and it leaves no dirty residue? Nothing. You want my, let me see if I can get a paper towel. That was a really quick demo, but we'll it see. It was a quick demo, but we'll see. So you can see, it's just water there. It's a little, this is water. You can you tell. You never mopped 
quite so. Yeah, boop, 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 I, I mopped pretty quick too. And we also haven't mopped in how long? It's been like a week because I wanted this to be a good demo, but it was really quick. But anyway, it's amazing. Um, for those of you that know me and trust me, you know that I'm, I, you know, I wouldn't ever even vouch for anything unless I believed in it, and I believe in this. Stuff, I told so. her, babe, it was this the other week, three, four days ago. I said, babe, I'm glad I married you first before you found out about Norwax, or you might be married to a cloth. Mm. <laughs> yes. She's like, I'm gonna say that on my Facebook. I live. didn't say. That. Yes, you did. You said I'm gonna share that. So anyway, um, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff and you have questions, you can mes message me. I'm going to be, BGZ I'm going to get. says he sold on the mop. Oh, the mop's so great. Yeah, I'm pretty obsessed. If you live in the Atlanta area, um, I'm going to start doing some really neat anti-cancer mom <coughs> events where I'm, uh, if you want to have me in your home, I'll teach green smoothie making. I'm going to teach how to make non-toxic non deodorant and, um, and just come and answer anybody's questions. Uh, who are adopting a more healthy lifestyle and wanting to prevent cancer and even those of you that are treating it naturally. Um, so just personal message me on my uh, anti-cancer mom Facebook page um, and we can you know we can chat more about that so um, anybody yeah. have any last minute questions I know Lindsay says do you use it yeah. use a cloth on your dishes? Um, I do oh that's a great point I really wanted to talk about that. Um, I do. You cannot use it with soap though. So depending how comfortable you are, you might want like a, a specific dish cloth. You can't use soap with it if you're doing dishes. You can use the cleaning paste to scrub a little bit. So what I do with my dishes, especially because I eat a lot of salads that aren't really that dirty in my, and you know how it is. If you've had a salad, you know how to wash it out with water. And like, why would you put something like that in the dishwasher? Because it's barely dirty. So I just wipe it off with my Enviro cloth. Did you talk about the, the then, silver in it and how that disinfects? And then I just washed it out with water again and then I put it on the drying rack. Did you talk about the, uh, talk the about silver? Nano, yeah, the silver purifies silver. and disinfects it so yeah. the bacteria can't grow and mildew can't grow inside. And you'll see it will go four or five days a week sometimes without any sort of stench. You know, if, you, you're, if you're using it to wipe food <clears throat> off your counters um, for a good while, um, unless you wash, you have to wash it out really well with the hot water every night. That makes the biggest difference. I did make that mistake for a while where I just didn't wash it out enough. Um, so, you know, 30 seconds under pretty, pretty warm water. Um, and then just kind of rubbing it together like this to get the, get, to get some friction in there. And it comes right out. So, the proof's in the pudding. It doesn't stink. <laughs> so, you we know, nothing's growing in it. You need to show the permanent marker demo on the table, right? No, it's fine. Okay. Unless you guys... I can maybe show you that another well, time. Well, you could just though. say, I mean. It works. Yeah. I wrote permanent smiley faces. A, a and marker <laughs> on a wooden table in our, in our school yeah. room comes right Game up with this And ball. crayon, crayon. Um, I will say with kids and with smoothies in the house, I, we have so many smoothie disasters where there's just smoothies splattered on the walls and this gets it right off, including like the blueberry smoothies that Cynthia tend to stain. Cynthia wants to know about the shower. Okay. Other people have asked about the shower. Really? So. Okay. I didn't even get to that. This guy right here is the shower scrubber. You can use the EnviroCloth in the shower. I found that we have one we have one shower in our house that does not have any uh, mold or mildew growth. It just is really one of those showers that's kind of, I don't know what it's made up of, but it doesn't grow mildew or mold. Sometimes it'll get like little specks of mildew on the tile, but you don't get it in the grout. The grout tile is still problematic to me when it gets mildew in the grout. Um, this guy scrubs it out really well. And what I do, in there, it's a yeah, mitt. it's a mitt. <clears throat> this is, uh, they call this the scrub. And so it just has a little more scrubbing action than the EnviroCloth. Kelsey wants a QVC next steps. How do I buy? Oh boy. Uh, there's links below this video with the various, there's a couple of collections that are great to bundle it up. Um, you can get like the Enviro cloth and the polishing cloth for like $32.99 I think it is. Um, and that together and then all the way up to some of the bigger packages with the mops are like, you know, up in the two and three hundreds. Um, the mop itself is $112, which is pretty crazy. But when you think you don't have to buy a mop ever again. And you're mopping just with yeah. a little bit of water. Yeah, you're mopping with water and it lasts, you know, it has a up to 10 years, it has a two year warranty. Um, so it's totally worth it and I will tell you this because I have had a shark steam mop which 
ruined like some of our hardwoods. <laughs> yeah, it was a shark steam up. We bought that for a hundred, right? It was ninety nine no, bucks or like, more than that. It was expensive. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a shark steam up. We used that for a good while, and it didn't even clean our floors. There was just it was just like. Well, a lot of the research says that the hot steam starts to loosen the glue that binds the wood yeah, panels and our, together, and, and you start our, to mess up your top, your Some of our wood time. floors actually came up like you could feel them popping, like they were the glue, the glue was loosening, and so it, it's not good for wood floors. The Shark Steam Cleaner, we still have that up up in our uh, in great upstairs. For tile. Yeah, he uses it in the garage. <laughs> um, but and then we bought. Um, I we can don't show have a tile you garage, but yeah. real quick. Then our second mop is still in here. And I bought this, and this was 45 or 50 bucks at Target. This 45 bucks, I think. You can see, it. first of all, it didn't even work very well. I would fill this with vinegar and water. And then it has this spray thing that would spray out the vinegar. And it would I, my hand would be exhausted by the end of the night. And then I would go over the floor, and there would still be... Um, like this cloth is, I don't even know if this is considered microfiber or what, but it's not, it's, uh, it just wouldn't do anything. It just kind of spread the dirt around. Yeah. Whereas the Norwex mop actually picks it up. Yeah, it's been a journey to say the least. So anyway, you definitely, I feel like I've wasted so much money if I just went about the Norwex mop, you know, well, you, seven you years know. ago, I'd be, you know, I'd be set. It's like so. Thomas Edison. You've learned, I don't know, 2,000 ways yes, how to I have. not clean your house or whatever. So anyway, better ways to do it. if you guys are still skeptical and you're wondering like, oh, I got to investigate this myself, you can just Google Norwex bacteria. There's a, te I put a, um, a, the raw chicken test, a video for that um, below the, this Facebook video, a couple of posts down. And um, like I said, if you want, or if you're interested, if you want to talk more, I'm here. And um, I'm going to get on my Facebook after we hang up with this video. It's really gotten really long. So, um, Anyway, I'm grateful for all of you. Any last minute out. questions, Q and A? That's what the plan was. Well, was any last minute hanging? You know, everybody's cool. Gmo wanted to know if there'd be a kids cameo. I think we'll save that one. Oh, for. there. We, we were going to have a kids demo where we were going to say, you know, with us today to help create some of these messes. They're a little mess crew. And they would each be pan down and they'd each be standing right here and they'd run around and like make messes, make messes. and we'd come behind them with the Norwax and clean it up. Because that's kind of how so it is every day. It would have been really fun, but I think it could have got a little, a little crazy. Yeah. So anyway, once again, thanks for hanging out with us tonight and um, we'll talk to you later.